Ryan. We're back in Carson, California for the fourth of the schedule 12 between Paul Williams and Antonio Margarito. Paul Williams starts out the fourth round trying to throw a big left hand across the top. Harold Letterman scoring at ringside in Atlantic City. Harold, how do you have it so far? Okay, Jim. Three to nothing, 30 to 27, Paul Williams. You know, Jim, if you've ever seen Paul Williams fight before, 32 times he stepped in the ring and he's doing exactly what he's doing tonight. Oh, he, he holds you off with that right jab. He just throws a million right, right jabs at you. He comes across with that straight left hand. He throws combinations. He doubles and triples that right jab. You know, he, and when you get in close, he locks it up just like he's doing here to Margarito. Margarito's going to have to come in with some straight body shots, not wide shots to slow this kid down. Oh, oh, Williams is going to box him to death. Three to nothing, Paul Williams. You know, sometimes you don't see the same fight on television as you see in person, as Harold himself has pointed out. But uh, we can't disagree with him being ringside. New information from Atlantic City. I'm told that we did access hello, hello. a last-minute interview with Arturo Gatti. Uh, and we will hope to show it to you later on. Gaddy has something to say about whether his career has any remaining future at this point. And we'll bring that to you, obviously, after the conclusion of this fight in Carson between Williams and Margarita. As tall and flexible as Williams is, he seems to sometimes just slingshot his punches. I get the picture that he's David and Goliath. David fighting the title holder, Goliath being the bigger man. Just want to make clear that when we bring you the Arturo Gatti interview before the end of the evening, Gaddy will announce his retirement in the interview. Actually, did announce his retirement in the interview. So be sure to stay tuned to hear to hear what you now know, which is that Arturo Gatti announced his uh, retirement in the interview that we're going to bring him. Hard right hand by Antonio Margarito. A grinning Margarito makes clear that he needs to make every punch count against the landslide of punches he's facing. Still, into the fourth round for Paul Williams. It's almost, his grin is almost like he's saying, take your best shots, kid. Let's see what happens in the second half of the fight. And now fight. Margarito starts talking trash to Williams, banging away at the body. And Williams, just as relaxed as ever, pops with the jab and moves away. <laughs> A fourth consecutive round with more than 100 punches thrown for Paul Williams. Move the waist, blocking his punches, and, and then keep keeping a distance. Just the water. You got to work with speed like you're doing, okay? Send me some more feints and give me that more jab. Some more hooks are going to work, and some more uppercuts are going to work, okay? But don't get in there and push with him. Got it. Here you see... Williams landing uppercuts because for whatever reason everything Margarita's doing is wide and he leaves a big gap right in the center and Williams is taking advantage of by landing punches right in between the gloves of Margarita's who's coming in. Down view box numbers in the fourth round Margarita 12 out of 40 Williams 20 out of 104. So for a guy who in the past has averaged 116 punches thrown per round in fights counted by CompuBox, Margarito has been something entirely different tonight, trying to choose the spaces between the constant flow of punches from Paul Williams. It's Williams who's able to stick with his game plan, stick with his previous routine, throwing in excess of 100 punches per round. Margarito's goal, obviously, to make his punches count more, to do damage, to hurt Williams, particularly to the body. So far, Paul Williams seems to have the edge as we're into the fifth of a scheduled 12. Here's where he changes up. He moves back, he moves back. Now he stands right in front of you, giving you different looks. What's interesting to me, Jim, is you would think a tall fighter like this is vulnerable to the body. 
that even a good fighter like Margarito cannot get there consistently. Well, some of the time you just have to defend because Paul Williams is throwing, throwing, throwing. And when you look at that body, there was a time years ago when one of the women who worked for George Peterson and Peterson's amateur boxing organization said to him, what are you gonna do with this kid? He doesn't have a muscle anywhere in his body. Peterson said, if you listen to me, I'll make him a world champion. He's got a chance to win that belt tonight. And he's going after it with gusto. So far, Margarito's face is holding up against the onslaught. Thank you wonder when you're going to see an eye go, begin to swell or blood from the nose because Williams is throwing so freely and landing a lot of the time. Now, for the first time in the fight, Williams seems to seek a little bit of a breather as he finds space in the fifth. Yeah, it, he has impressive, really uh, adult poise, I want to say, Jim. An intuitive feel about how to change up, back off, come forward. in the center of the ring. And referee Lou Filippo, or Lou Moret, I should say, Lou Ferret will rule that a slip. Between rounds, we're going to show you highlights of a fast-rising young Hispanic American heavyweight. Mexican American heavyweight prospect Chris Ariola from here in the Los Angeles area had his 21st professional fight tonight against Derek Berry. It was not expected to be a tough test for Ariola. And expectations proved correct. Fighting a former sparring partner, it's only even even in the land of building up resumes. This is a bit under the top. But I like Ariola. He has to prove himself against a substantial opponent. Here go. Give me some body work. He can take a head shot, but give me some body work. Okay? I thought Margarita won the last round. Is that the start of the rest of the fight? Paul Williams still averaging 99 punches per round. He's landed 102 out of 498. Counted by CompuBox through the first five rounds. Margarito landing 47 out of 202 in that same span. So Margarito has been more than doubled in punch output. And once again, Williams gets off a flurry to start round six. Right hand across the top by Margarito. Williams taking the punch well and delivering in return. Clean, break clean. Most Margarita watchers consider him a much better puncher with the left hand than with the right. If he's got a money punch, it's the left hook. Harder to land against the southpaw stance. Crushing right hand inside, landed to the jaw by Margarito. Williams keeps flowing. Body shot by Margarita. Starting to land with more effect. And now Williams puts up the left hand to try to block the right as Margarito continues to sweep it and land upstairs. Good hard left of the body by Margarito. Williams fires back a four-punch combination. Lands a straight left right on the chin of Antonio Margarito. And another. Margarito taking all of this very well and continuing the throwback. Both fighters getting hit and fighting back. Emmanuel Stewart, do you see any change in momentum now at this point with Margarito clearly more determined to fight back? Yeah, but, but still, uh, William seems to be unraveled. He's, he's you know, he's, he's being pressured a lot more, but he seems to be very cool. Uh, I think Margarita is, is, is doing better, but still, that's still not enough. His punches are too wide. He's, he's not shooting any straight right hands at all. Yeah. 
And, and, and Paul Williams is just out working. I mean, just regardless of what happened, Paul would not let Margarita take control over the fight. You know, we've talked about Beckham in this facility. The movie based on his celebrity called Bend It Like Beckham. And boxing is better to throw it straight like Clemens than bending it like Beckham. And in this fight, Williams is throwing more of the straight punches. Pressing forward, pressing forward. Trying to build up more punch output. He's thrown 60 punches in this round. Williams once again approached 100. Wednesday, August 8th, tune in to the premiere of Hard Knocks, training camp with the Kansas City Chiefs for an all-access look at what happens between the scenes at an NFL training camp. Every Wednesday night for five weeks, we'll take you inside the locker room, the meeting rooms, and everywhere you can imagine as Coach Herm Edwards pairs down his roster and readies the Chiefs for the upcoming season. Keep moving and... Yeah, all right. Yeah. He's, he's keeping you up in the balance. Yeah. But throw punches. Don't stand without throwing punches. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Come on, wake up. We're gonna win. Okay, you know, Paul, you can't do that, huh? Copy box numbers in the sixth round. Margarito reached his high water level of the fight. Landing 17 out of 44, Williams 22 out of 101. Harold Letterman, how'd you score the first six? You know, Jim, in round six, Antonio Margarito really started to pick it up early in the round. But then in the second half of the round, Paul Williams totally outworked him to win that round. I mean, Margarito's not fighting like a guy who's urgent, who, who feels that he's losing his fight. I mean, he's got to pick up the pace soon. He's got to really start to come in and land some real hard shots to slow this kid down because Paul Williams is totally outworking him. Six to nothing, 60 to 54, Paul Williams. I have it five no, rounds go, to Paul, one. Let him, go. let him go. Emmanuel, Margarito's grinning in there as though he thinks he knows something. Does he, or well, is he grin grinning through the dark? Well, let he's go, grinning through the dark as I'm concerned because Paul Williams is not going to let him take control over this fight. And I don't think he has the work ethics to, to punch with enough regularity to slow Williams down. He may have the spots here and there, but Williams is steadily punching slipping, twisting, turning, and very relaxed. So I think Williams can continue to go the whole fight at this pace. We've seen Margarito come back in the second half of fights where he's had difficulty early on. Against Daniel Santos and Puerto Rico, he was coming on fast toward the end of the fight, seemingly overtaking Santos on scorecards before the fight was stopped as the result of a cut. And Santos wound up with a razor-thin technical decision. But even when he's kept it on, he's doing everything too slow. Margarito's right hand drifting there as he tried to reach Williams. Williams able to get away. Fast feet as well as fast hands for the lanky 25-year-old rising star. Well, you know, Margarito's in trouble when the fans start chanting Mexico, Mexico trying to urge him on. They stand and trade. Neither one seems capable of hurting the other with one punch. So we're getting these vicious exchanges. Margarito had a momentary chance to land his big left hook and missed it, swinging just over Williams' head. Williams goes back to rocking Margarito with his jab. Williams in his track with a hard body shot. Great, great. Good round for Margarita, but still, I don't know if he can maintain this pace. But if he could continue this pace here, he stands a chance. But the biggest thing is.